how's it going? Um, so this is just gonna be my first video on a possible um, vlogging journey that um, I just stepped in what probably is hairball. <laughs> Alright. Alright. This is kind of sad. Like, this one lights up, but like it's been out before and it like come back on, so I don't know. Also, I forget, my bathroom has beautiful lighting. So I'll sit you there. Um, I'm not gonna lie, all of 2020 I didn't wear like any makeup just because I didn't go anywhere, but there'd be days. It's just the effort, the mere effort. Have you ever noticed that babies have like really nice eyelashes and you're kind of like, it's just unfair, you know? Just unfair. It looks like I put more on the right one than the left one. Sometimes I'm like, I'll put this on so I don't look as exhausted as I am. I'm loving this haircut that I got. It's the first time I've done it without sideburns. And I am digging it. Oh, I'm gonna be late for my first errand because I had to clean up that dry hairball. So, uh, we were told that, so we get this like Starbucks espresso roast, and we never had it before, and it was just funny to me because, um, that's a nice lighting. It's funny to me because uh, someone told me like, that's what they use for like espresso shots, and I was like, wait a minute, so are we like drinking espresso? Man, we're kind of badass, aren't we? <laughs> Um, I might start the happiness jar. So a friend of mine told me about it where you basically get this jar and like you can like deck it out and make it look however you want. So I'm going to paint it, which I'll show later. Um, paint it and then uh, you just put things in there that have made you happy throughout the year. And then at the end of the year you like read it. It's supposed to be like a good mental health thing. If you don't start a conversation. I realized now I'm this way. Um, I probably should have been recording this way instead of the vertical way. It probably would have made more sense. So, my bad. Um, but I also thought I could organize. Ooh, I could organize the office that we have because it's kind of starting to turn into a storage room. Very suspicious. Now I'm gonna organize the office. I sat and I hung out for a little bit. Um, I realized I'm probably gonna go to the store to get more oat milk because I accidentally, I didn't think about it. Um, I made my protein shake with oat milk and um, I realized it, it used a lot, I used a lot and I don't know, I feel bad. I'm gonna make this thing that's like a Starbucks drink but it has oat milk in it and I feel bad because I already used so much so ready for my protein shake. So I was like, oh, maybe I should get some more. It's like a brown sugar latte with oat milk, so you have to like make a sauce. So I have to get like vanilla extract, because like we have some, but like not a lot, because I've been baking. So, um, that's gonna be a thing I'm gonna have to do today. It's the Iron Throne from Game of Thrones. And if this looks like it was really hard, it's because it was. Woohoo! Getting colder, it was 23 or 25 degrees, and now it's like, it's going down and so I'm trying to like get this fat and it's snowing now so I'm kind of like mm. um so anyways the store that I went to that is the least busy I've seen it in a while so I guess marking in my calendar Wednesdays I didn't dare dare check the bottle room I should have I probably should have returned cans today but I didn't well now I feel like a goofball for not doing it. I don't know if, apparently not everyone does this, but uh, they, we return cans here, and it's like 10 cents and all that, so yeah, the more you know. I forget other people, other places don't do it. Everyone always forgets, and I swear no one's mentioned them, except when they became that TikTok trend, was my good old friend, Simple Plan. I'm a Simple Plan die-hard fan. A oh, weird fun fact about me ever since I worked in a deli is I just now buy like these slices of salami. Not 
Got some simmering happening. I'm making syrup, guys. Here's my problem. It said pan. I probably would do this in a pot, but it said pan. So that's what I'm doing. But now I'm wondering if it was supposed to be a pot because now I look really ridiculous, but it's fine. Okay, so simmering, and I have to take this off, and then I add the vanilla. I have to do a half teaspoon. Oh, I must do one teaspoon. I have to do a half teaspoon of vanilla. And then, um, I gotta, it said I have to wait for it to cool and thicken before I do anything else. That makes sense. We're gonna follow it. Bam. Neat. And look, the pizza rolls came out. How exciting. I really hope this turns out. <laughs> I just am like, this looks kind of dumb, but it's okay. I feel like I just have to take the whole thing and I'm just like, let me just, you know, pick it up. Let me just pick it up so it all goes to one side. There we go. Good mixture. You know, they gotta tell me. Don't tell me to use a pan unless, unless you tell me to use a pot. I'm just saying. back. Okay, I got the ice. I just did crushed on our fridge. And then we have to do, so I think the syrup's on. I switched to a pot just to make it easier to pour it in. Um, and I thought I'd add these ingredients later, but I guess, or I had to add them with the syrup so I thought it would be easier to do it that way. But I don't have to, so that works. All right, so we're doing a half teaspoon of, no, a quarter teaspoon. A quarter teaspoon of cinnamon? What it says? Yep. Which I have a lot of because I like to put it on my cocoa. Cinnamon. Cinnamon. It's gonna look really cool actually once I put the oat milk in. And then two tablespoons syrup. And then half cup oat milk. Okay. And then the coffee is somewhere in there. <laughs> All right, so we'll do the two tablespoons syrup first. I don't even know if I have that in here, but we'll see. All right, here's the syrup. I don't know if that's gonna seep down. I think I only did. You know, I was just gonna do the whole thing. Here, we'll have it go down. I'm directing the syrup. Here, we'll just put the whole syrup in there. I'm sure it's fine. There's not a lot left. I think it even says, like, oh, you can save it. I'm like, there's not a lot. But it's cool watching it trickle down, though, isn't it? Okay, and then I have to do the coffee next. Isn't it gonna suck if I hate it? <laughs> Under all this effort. But then I know. Okay, so I'm gonna do this yet. I add the coffee. The coffee. I'm gonna guess here. And then here comes the oat milk. Alright. That was fun. It's kind of messy. I'm sure this is what it looks like though. Not bad, not bad. I just want to make sure like nothing's getting stuck in the bottom, all other things like good. But here we go, I guess. This is the. I didn't miss anything. The cinnamon really. really nice. <laughs> I, re I don't mind it. I don't know how Starbucks does it, because they probably do actual, they do espresso shots. I just did the espresso coffee, but that's not that hard. My friend told me that she's ordered this before, and she said that it's kind of like, it has a bitter taste to it. It's more coffee tasting. But I mean, I 
Yeah, you immediately taste the cinnamon. I think my only beef is I wouldn't have added so much ice. I more just wanted the ice to like make it cold. Because it is like that that's typically what I would get is an ice beverage from it. But it's really not bad. I feel like there should be a little bit more flavoring to it. Um and again, that's just because it's at home, but like you taste the cinnamon first. And the brown sugar. Can I even smell it? Yeah, I feel like the, the cinnamon kind of overtakes it. And I remember Starbucks it smells like more brown sugary, but they probably have like a syrup that comes in. I mean, I would get it. Mm -hmm. Like it has like enough sweetness, so the oat milk. I also have oat milk with oat milk with cereal because I seem to just been having it mixed with things. But um, yeah, the cinnamon's definitely there. I can always try making it again. <clears throat> see if I like it. I just wanted to see if there was any possibility of me liking it, which there is. So, yay! So anyways, um, yeah, I will post uh, the recipe on Pinterest so you can make your own. Move, I'm gonna move back, I'm gonna have some more pizza rolls, and then I'm gonna work on the office. Hey, um, so it is almost midnight, I think, which is weird. It feels, I'm just used to waking up in the middle of the night, so it feels really weird to actually wake up before midnight to me. But, um, yeah. So, fiance got home, and we, I made dinner, it was like chicken, and I really failed on the dinner, oh my gosh. And then we watched some anime, we watched like our shows, checked out this one anime. So far the girl just really annoys me in it. But like, I guess it's good, but she's a psycho in it, so. I feel bad for the guy, and I really want the guy to be, because she's like, basically just picking on him the entire time, and I'm like, get angry, get mad. So, um, organ organizing the office is still happening. Um, I made another uh, brown sugar oatmeal latte. Oatmeal latte. Oat milk latte, oat milk brown sugar latte, something. And this one I actually did double, so I did like, I just doubled the recipe, pretty much. And I really think the cinnamon doesn't need to be in there, and I know it's a quarter teaspoon, but I still feel like that's too much because it like overtakes the whole drink itself. So I definitely want to try what Starbucks has to offer and just see like, if it's similar, if it's different, if I like it. I'm worried about wasting my money or wasting like anyone else's money if I go on a Starbucks run with someone. Um, I did watch some streamers, my streamer friends. That was fun. Um, yeah, it's gotten down to the point where I mem try to memorize uh, my friends' schedules on their like their streaming schedules just so I know when they stream. I think it's pretty cute because I like kind of been telling some friends that I'm trying out vlogging. And they're like, oh, cool, you know, like, I'll watch it. And so I sent, like, a couple links out just to be like, here you go. Look at this. A ground. Look at my hair, it's wild. So it's currently 5.30 in the morning. <laughs> Anyways, I just wanted to show the Doctor Who mug I have. If you don't start a it's so cool. I got it at, like a art festival. Um, yeah, we went to it, me and like some of my relatives went to an art festival, and um, this isn't like wasn't like be, yeah, this wasn't sold as art. It's its own kind of art, but it was at a store, and I just was like, <gasps> this was when like I was like really getting into Doctor Who. Like I was like watching it for the first time because there's no weeping angels but it did have a Dalek in it so I'll take what I can get but yeah weeping angels are my favorite villain because they're so freaky so good 
If you can't, if you if you heard any kind of sound, that's a cat wanting to look outside. So I have to open the blinds for him. Because he's a needy baby, but it's okay. I love him all the same. Hi! Um, so, oh, like this, it was a sweater that, uh, it was a sweater that, um, the neck was like up here and I was like, <gasps> and so I just cut it. And now I, um, have this. Um, it's just a, it's like my, I don't know if I've had it earlier, but it's the same as like the mug I had. It said Koofy on it. Um, alright. So I had lunch, and I kind of just keep going into the office, and I'm just like, okay, and then I walk back out. But I did like all the dishes and stuff that need to be done um, that I thought were kind of yucky. You know, it's crazy when you make that brown sugar syrup. Just be aware of how sticky, and like it can get on stuff, and it's just like, why? It's messy. But I remade it. Um, I did it differently. I did it wrong. Um, I mean, it still tastes good. It's fine. But um, I, <laughs> I actually, oh, this is the mistake I made. Because I realized it wasn't as sweet, and I'm more of like a sweet coffee person. And so I was looking at the syrup recipe. So I thought it said put two and a half teaspoon or tablespoons of the syrup, which you put two. So it's not totally wrong, but I just kind of like put the rest in it so I actually do have extra syrup in here. Um, and then I add the two tablespoons of water in here and then I like looked at it and I was like, yeah, it's fine. Because you're adding ice anyways. And then I did the quarter, so what I did is before, so originally when I first made this, or the other ones, I put the ice in first. I think that's what the directions said to do. But with this one, I put the like the like I put the syrup in here. I put the cinnamon in here, and I did I didn't put the oat milk in yet because they said to top it with that. And then I put ice in it, and then I actually blended it. So now it's like this like deep color because they do that at Starbucks. So why not? And then um yeah, and then I added more ice to it because it freaked me out that I didn't hear like ice in it. So yeah, and then the oat milk's in here before I even blend it. I put oat milk in here and I kind of overflowed it a little bit. So that was fun to clean up. But I mean, yeah, if I were to do it differently, I probably would do... I wouldn't put ice in it, I don't think at all, when I'm blending it. I would just blend it. And then, and I would have the oat milk in there too and I... No, I would do ice and then add oat milk. But... This is not kind of gross, but the syrup tastes pretty good. <laughs> So I just feel like show here, let me zoom out. A comparison here. So this is our old crock pot, right? Like, not very big. This is the new one I got. And I was basically making things that were like for this size in that. So it always overflowed and I always made a huge mess every time. So I'm very happy that <laughs> we got a bigger one. Start a conversation, nation. We won't have one. Have, have. We won't have one, nation. If you don't start a conversation, nation. Conversation, nation. Conversation. Right where I left off in Skyrim, uh, I had like I guess I must have been fighting some like warlord Draugr guy, and it was like his like person that was like helping him, and like oh I died like so many times until like it was like a. It was weird, like I have this war hammer that I'm using and so it was like, it's one-handed weapon or I think it's two-handed. I don't know. Um, I can't think about it right now. But I was hitting this guy with it and then it was like between like hitting him, okay now I gotta have like some like healing, okay hit him again, oh he hit me, I gotta have some healing, so each time he hit me I had to heal and then I had to reverse the warlord guy and 
It was basically who could hit who first before the other one died. That's pretty much what happened. <clears throat> it was vigorous. And then I had to go rescue someone because they got a flat tire. So that happened. And then I made dinner and then it was basically just like straight up chilling. And then I watched, um, I watched some friends stream. So that was fun. And then tomorrow, I believe, I get to hang out and hang out with another friend of mine. And we're gonna play some Mario Party. And we're going to just like hang out and stuff. So that'll be fun. I've realized I've gotten some good support for this vlog and I'm quite excited to see how it'll go. Um, today's Mario Party Day and I'm gonna hang out with my friend. I'm excited. I'm not very good with people. If you don't start a conversation, oh my gosh, it is one. so late. Um, so yeah. Um, just a reminder that if you purchase anything online to um, wash it before wearing it because it is really cold out and um, it's not the person who got me it's fall, it's fine, but like they got me, it was like a exchange for like a Christmas present and it was a winter coat, it's fine. I thought that was a fall coat, but now I have two winter coats, which is okay. I think you can, I think this one's going to be more of like a winter coat than my actual winter coat. I don't know. But anyways, so yeah, wash your things because at least the coat I got, it was through Amazon, but it kind of had like a weird smell to it and I was like, well, that's kind of weird. So I'll just like air it out. So I drove to my friend's house and just kind of like sit it there and she was doing laundry anyway, so it worked out. But she smelled it and she goes, oh yeah, it does smell kind of weird. And then I realized it kind of smelled like fish. And I was like, oh my gosh. And this happened once before when I got like a scarf from Amazon too and it smelled like fish. Um, so I mean, maybe it's the same supplier, who knows. I usually do, I kind of took a chance just because it was supposed to be really cold today. But no. Um, but it was a lot of fun. We like hung out, reminisced. I got to try, um, gosh, she told me it was like Irish, Irish black tea. And it was like a mix of like oat milk and honey. And it was like the best. It was like a hug in a mug. Uh, her husband said that like, if he could just like swap that out for coffee, he'd be set. And I was like, yeah, you know, maybe me too. <laughs> So I had a couple of cups of that, but like it makes you have to go to the bathroom like a lot. So debating, I'm 50-50 on like editing the vlog or trying to go one more day maybe and then editing on Sunday because there might be a thing I want to do, but like I'm really just trying to look out for myself here and just make sure I'm not like exhausted because I didn't sleep well last night because of the stupid TikTok video that played all night on my phone. I played Mario Party, which was fun. Um, got our buns kicked because we thought, oh, let's put the computers on hard, and they're ruthless. Look at my cute mug. It says no more caffeine for you. Got asked to go to this thing at the library. Or a library. Where they have children's books for a dollar and like 25 cents. Like super cheap. And I was like, should I go? And then my friend was like, I thought it was just today. And I was like, it's gonna like snow a lot. And uh... She was just like, it goes all month long. And I was like, oh. So I fed the cats already and I totally forgot that I didn't. And they were like, what the heck? And I was like, I'm so sorry. So fun fact, I'm using a flashlight right now. <laughs> so I don't look, there's like the only source of light is up here. Anyways, this is the office that I'm working on organizing. Um, right now it's pretty much a mess. But 
I uh, went to the library thing today. It was a lot of fun. Me and my friend had a lot of fun. It was great. Um, so I just wanted to show like the haul that we got. Well, that I got. We got way more. But um, yeah, it cost like three bucks. Three bucks. Uh, three dollars and twenty-five cents to be exact. But um, <clears throat> I'll show you the cool things I got, and then I can like work on editing this. Okay. So I got. Well, it's backwards, but it's sloths. And I'm definitely gonna give this to one of my very good friends who loves sloths and has a little baby boy that would like love love it. Um, and then I found this. It was like the only manga, it's, like in good condition. So nice. Again, I know it's backwards. I'm sorry. And then okay, let's get to the all right. And then they have one of these books, which I only have the um, the Beast one, which I haven't read yet. But this, they were only 25 cents. Each of them were, all these books I'm about to show you were only 25 cents. And I'm just like, blown away. So I'm quite excited. Yay. Um, yeah, so this was originally like, or it said the original price in here. It was originally $18 and I got it for 25 cents. And like, I know probably the thing would be like, oh, well, does it have like writing in it? And like, no, it is perfect. So good. And then this is another book that I got for another person who has a little baby. Again, it's backwards, but I know they are fond of Paddington, so I got this as well. Um, and I thought it was gonna be just kids' books, which for the most part there were, but like, wait for it. There were so many books out like that they had that I was like, I haven't seen this since elementary school. Then, okay, this is the haul. Oh, sorry, no, we got one more. We got another one for a little baby. Oh, because I love Arthur. I loved Arthur growing up and like, oh, so good. This is what takes the cake. I freaking loved these books as a kid. And like, I'm pretty sure this is what inspired me. So like, Amelia's like notebook is what definitely got me going. And then, um, like, I went a little crazy. I was like, when am I gonna find these again? Like, look at this. Glorious. Don't mind the cat. There's a cat happening. But yeah, like, I, I couldn't, I couldn't not. And I was like, they're 25 cents, you know? So I was very excited. And like, okay. Amelia's Notebook and Harriet the Spy definitely like, got me going on like the writing train. Like those were my inspirations to write. And like, I remember trying to be like Harriet the Spy, like taking notes of what I see. And I never got to the part where like, I never, I don't know, I can never do like fiction writing. That's not really my like forte, if that makes sense. Um, I'm more like into like the nonfiction, like taking experiences that I had like in my life and then talking about them <laughs> so yeah and there was no I've never read this one either Camp Mosquito another Amelia's book that I've never read I was all about these when I would go to the library so I did think that if I went to the library enough I would definitely like get Matilda powers like for certain mm. didn't happen but and then I found these newer ones and I was like, what? Who's Daphne? It's Amelia's cousin. And I was like, wait, what? She has a cousin? And there's more of them and they're revamped. What year did this come out? Does it even say? 2011. This came out like when I graduated high school. Like, holy cow. So yeah, I am way, way excited. Like, for sure. I just, oh, the nostalgia was crazy. And there was like other ones, like Dear Dumb Diary was another one that I really liked from like the book fair days. And I just, oh my gosh, I just couldn't, I just couldn't do it. So anyways, that was my experience. It was a lot of fun. And it was cool because they put them in like these totes and we didn't have to pay for the totes. The totes were free. Usually they all, they'll be like, oh, well, if you put it in a tote, you gotta da da da. Or like, you have to carry them out. I didn't even know we were getting bags. Like, oh, it was so good. It was so fun. A really good experience. Like, I haven't been in a library in years. Like, an actual, like, public library. I have not been in years. So it was really cool to, like, just be in this library. It was massive. It was huge. 
and it was just so cool to like see all the little things and like go through the nostalgia and it was weird because there were like not a lot of people there at all like barely a lot like anybody was there and it went all month long so maybe that's why but i'm pretty sure today was the first day it started i got let's see it's like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so i got like 12 or 13 books for 325 Oh my gosh. And like a lot of them just say they're discards and like there's nothing wrong with them. Like it just it just says discard, but like there's nothing wrong with it at all. I don't understand why. It baffles me. Baffles. So anyways, yeah, I really uh so excited. <laughs> I'm so glad I went. There's just some stuff, you know, where you like you feel a little anxious or you're feeling like a little like, I don't know, unsure about. Most of the time you should just go. It's like actually some good lighting. Why are we getting ring lights? Let's all just use like look at this. If you don't start a conversation, 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 And I just have it like sitting like right here. So this is my vlog. Um, I don't know exactly everything I'll be doing in it, but like goosebumps I could do the goosebumps episodes again. There were some Goosebumps um, things there, some books, but they were ones I already heard of, so I was like, meh. And then, um, yeah, I mean, I could do different things. Um, just kind of seeing, like, I'm just trying to remember, basically, when to record things, pretty much. I completely forgot to record when we were in the library. Which was, oh my gosh, it would have been so cool. Like, I was, that, would be, that would be, like, really cool to go and do. <sighs> and I forgot. Having a vlog's pretty nice, I think. It's pretty chill. Um, I really appreciate everyone that's like really excited to watch this and like just kind of like be there with me along the way kind of thing while I figure this whole thing out. Pizza.